Welcome everyone to Unite Tonight. I am your host, Kanashi, and it has been a while since I've uploaded one of these to the channel. Um, it has been since March, six months. Um, just to let you guys know where I've been. One, uh, I, I had a job that I left that job because I got another job and then that job ended. So I went back to the first job and now I quit that job. So you know what? We're back where we started. Single, jobless, and still no mustache. It is a, it is a tough one. Um, but in all seriousness, nothing about me. Let's go ahead and dive into the actual topic of today's video, which is the anniversary event. Pokemon's painful reminder that I love fictional creatures more than socializing with people. Now, let's go ahead and dive into what exactly this means as a milestone, what this means for the community, as well as what it could mean for the future of Pokemon Unite. So let's go ahead and cover everything that came out in this first year of Pokemon Unite. In the short of it, we've had three new held items, we've had 18 new Pokemon, and most importantly, we've gotten a ton and ton of new players joining our game. On top of that, because we've had competitive players, it eventually leads into more competition. We've had small local tournaments, which eventually grew into regionals and overall turned into the world championship stage that we got at London, England. And I was super excited. And this just proves that the Pokemon Unite community is showing no signs of stopping. And I love that about the community in general. We are getting brand new updates throughout September. Um, we've got new events moving down the pipeline, and I'm just overall excited to see where this leads for the community and Pokemon Unite. Me personally, I have benefited from this because I've gotten to meet so many wonderful people um, that usually I probably wouldn't be able to meet, uh, such as casters, commentators, other tournament organizers, content creators, players, and even like team organizers who I just overall admire uh, from, from their play style to their personalities. Everything is great. And especially for me being a social introvert, I love going out and talking to people, but at the same time, you know, being able to pull myself away and give myself some space is really important. But what I'm trying to say is I'm glad to be a part of this community, this Pokemon Unite community that is passionate about the game. Now, this wouldn't be a Unite Tonight piece unless I took a more serious turn. I know there are a lot of content creators, casters, and players out there who are hypercritical about the game itself, about Pokemon Unite, whether it's coming after the production company, uh, the player base themselves, or just changes in the game in general. The thing that I do want to mention is, you know, we are still within our first year of this game. There is still a lot of time to grow and make this game into what we want it to be. And that's honestly where I'm at right now. I'm here making these videos just so you can hear my voice, you can hear what I'm thinking as I kind of progress through this Pokemon Unite terrain and journey that we are currently going through. The thing that I do want to mention though, I, I come from a hardcore esports background um, playing games for a long, long time. And the thing that I want to mention is MOBAs are probably one of the hardest game types to balance. It's not going to be easy. And even games that have had years upon years of experience over us haven't even nailed it either. You, can, you have games such as the Goliaths. If you want to look at League of Legends and Dota 2, there's still plenty of issues going on inside of the game itself from balancing changes, from, from characters, from specific things like nuances and UIs and stuff like that. And it is ridiculous that we expect Pokemon Unite to be instantly ready for everything. It, it's only a year old. This is barely, it's not even a toddler. It's still considered an infant. We have a lot of time to go ahead and fix and nail these things out. And I know there's a lot of things that we need to pal balance and patch. And I mean, we could just go over some of the things that we've had to nail throughout this entire first year of Pokemon Unite. When we first started, we had the item enhancer problem where everybody was like, you need item enhancers in order to make your items even relevant. Item enhancers were not easy to get and your items mattered in that time. 
after that, it ended up being, you know, overtuned Pokemon that came out on release. I mean, we could talk about Serena. We could talk about Titar. We could talk about what's happening currently with Glaceon and Mr. Mime. Pokemon are overtuned. And Timmy and Tencent are just kind of waiting on us to go ahead before they go ahead and hop in there, make a quick patch change, and let everything be fixed. And the most recent one being boost emblems. This is something that, you know, we didn't necessarily ask for, but here it is. Um, there's going to be a lot of things that require a lot of balance changes and changes to the game overall. And we just got to remember, it's only a year old. This this game is still very, very young. Now, this leads you down one of two paths. You can either ride the wave of Pokemon Unite through all of the weird metas and everything that is going on and see where it takes us a few years down the line. Or you could get angry about it, yell, scream, and then just straight up quit the game. We've seen both sides of this from pros and content creators in general and overall throughout the community. but. That is not the reason why I make these videos. I make these videos not only just to air my own opinions about certain things about the game itself, but I do also genuinely care about the game. And that's the reason why I make these videos. I want people to hear not only what I think about the game, but possibly give you guys hope that maybe these things that I'm mentioning we'll see that later down the line. Maybe these things will help us enjoy our game in the future. Hopefully, it takes us to Yokohama next year, and we have another really great Pokemon Unite showing. So, I want to end this video on a more relatable note. So, let me tell you this. To everybody who is watching my videos, yes, the games are hard. People don't rotate up to a lucky. People will steal your farm, and you will have people who throw a hissy fit and stay in the base for five minutes. It happens. But... Another thing that I have to mention is we are all new to this. A Pokemon MOBA for the phone and for the Switch. It is something that neither the devs, the players before us, the content creators, the casters, the tournament organizers have ever dealt with ever. And so, honestly, it is a great improvement from what we've seen over the beginning of the year. We've got a spectator client. We've got a whole bunch of little things that helped us create the scene that we love now. And I honestly have to say congrats to Pokemon Unite for making it to a year with a lot of support still. I could barely keep a houseplant alive for a year. So this is super impressive that you're able to keep a Pokemon title alive for this long. So here's to a great year. Here's to another great year moving forward. And here's to hoping, hoping and praying that we get another speedster before the next anniversary event. I'm Kanashi. This is Unite Tonight. I hope to see you guys on the next one.